Welcome back to Montreal Connected. Time to talk some impact soccer with our soccer expert, Pat Leduc. Pat, thanks for being here. My pleasure. Uh, rough season for the impact. Dead last in the MLS standings. Only one win in their last eight games. So is this season going down the drain for the impact? Well, uh, it looks like that. Uh, you got to forget about the playoffs at this point in time. Uh, and uh, there's been some changes. And you can expect some improvements uh, until the end of the year. But the focus now is going to be the Champions League. Uh, the impact has uh, had won their first game against uh, the team from El Salvador, CD Fast. Uh, and uh, I think, you know, uh, looking at the rest of the season, you got a new player coming in, Piatti. The focus is absolutely, absolutely going to be on the Champions League. What I think is really frustrating for the fans is you're looking at the roster and it looks almost the same as last season, with the exception of Alessandro Nesta, that veteran on the back line. So, so why can't this roster win like it did last season? That's, what pro that's probably what Nick DeSantis thought. You know, this team was uh, top of the league uh, about a year ago, back in July of 2013. Uh, everything seemed to be going so well. And then uh, the season kind of collapsed. Uh, the players uh, ran out of ideas. Uh, and DeSantis probably thought, well, let's keep the same group. And this team just needs maybe a change of coaches. Mm. And then we're going to find uh, our winning ways again. Uh, but uh, that didn't pan out. Uh, obviously, some uh, players uh, were tired. Uh, other players uh, just didn't deliver anymore. So you needed changes. And you could see it in the mood uh, of the team at the beginning, even in preseason, that uh, there was uh, maybe uh, they were demoralized. They thought, well, we need new blood to, 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 to actually attack this season and uh, with the right foot. And so uh, you could see that the team wasn't headed in the right direction from the start. Talking about new blood, the impact bringing in a new designated player, Ignacio Piatti. And now this is something that manager Frank Lopez has complained about this season, the lack of quality players. Do the Impact have enough quality players, or should we be expecting more talent infusions? Well, uh, you might need more talent at the back, uh, because uh, the Impact's been allowing too many goals. Mm -hmm. Piatti's certainly going to help. Uh, Nacho Piatti is the, that missing piece, that yeah. number 10 that's going to bring creativity, uh, and it's going to supply Marco Di Vallo with more goals. But Marco Di Vallo, it might be his last season, so you also need to think about next season. So, uh, but right now you have better pieces, uh, and Klopas has made some moves. He, he's brought in uh, Dilly Duca, uh, mm -hmm. a player that he's, he thinks can supply uh, Divayo with more chances, more goal-scoring opportunities. Uh, and uh, I'm thinking at the back right now, you've got young players that are learning and have looked good at times, but have struggled on the road especially. Uh, and that might be where you need to refresh the back line uh, and to make it uh, a, a bit more consistent overall. But overall now talking decision. about that back line, you mentioned it's young with guys like Miller, Lefebvre, we met. Is there an opportunity now with the season pretty much done for the impact to play their young players and develop the back line for the future? And I, I, yes, absolutely. And I think Frank Lopez has already started doing that. Most of his subs now are young players from the academy, uh, either defenders like Lefebvre, uh, like we met, or Maxime Tissot, or even Anthony Jackson ML. They, they've come in and they've changed uh, the picture of the game a, a number of times already this season. That's encouraging. Uh, they also need that playing time to, to not only be game changers as subs, but to actually have the confidence to, to be starters eventually on this team. Uh, and you need your leaders like Matteo Ferrari to see, assume more of a, a mentorship role kind of thing. You need to uh, take these young players and not criticize them for every mistake, but actually help them learn to become uh, regular MLS starters. All right, so the MLS playoffs out of reach. The focus for the impact now turns to Champions League. Would success at that level make up for a poor season? It would in some ways. Uh, it would. Uh, winning the champ uh, Canadian Championship uh, got the impact access to the, the Champions League. Uh, and if they did qualify, then you'd have a game uh, at some point in February of 2015, maybe at Olympic Stadium. Uh, and that could be exciting. That could bring about uh, a new perspective for the next season. Uh, you could also maybe convince uh, Marco Di Vallo, uh to play a few more months. Uh, yeah, that's uh, speculation, but mm -hmm. you, you, you certainly will have uh, more potential. Uh, it'll be easier to uh, attract new players to this team for the next season. Maybe an opportunity to attract Pat Leduc out of retirement and help the impact. Uh, you've got the scoop there. <laughs> I would certainly want to play, but uh, I'm done.
done. I'm done completely. All right, thanks, Pat, for joining me today. Right. That was uh, Pat Ludic's report on the Montreal Impact.